Why, hello there everybody. It is I, your boy, H boy. And today, do you know what I'm gonna be doing? Well, I'm tell you what I'm gonna be doing. I've been neglecting Rachel's chat for a while, so today, what am I gonna be doing? I'm gonna be going back to it. So for those who don't remember, last time I talked with Rachel, we went on a hike, we went to a hot spring, and then we went for some weird rock climbing thingy. So today I'm going to be continuing that. And I see if I can do something with her gut because here's the thing. As you know, where did Rachel originate from? The game called Bubble Gut Simulator. The thing is, ever since the pool thing, she's almost forgot about her problem. So I'm going to see if I can instigate it again in today's video, if the time is right. Let's get this a thing of a schnitzel on the road. Okay. Where do we leave? Oh, yeah. Awesome name. Rachel grins, loving the sound of the name. Thanks. I thought I had a nice way to it. Imagine so. Your type of everyday routine. Let's transform your boring life and boring to breathtaking adventures. The only travel agency. Since not only text. The slogan sounds awesome. You know what? Why don't. We see if there are any more. Things we can find in our forest. Haiku. Rachel nods excitedly, always up for a new challenge. Sure thing. Let's see what else this forest hike has in store for us. We've already conquered the hot spring and the rock climbing, so what's next? Let's see if we can turn another ordinary activity into an extraordinary adventure. Sorry about that. Sometimes people waltz in, but that's not important. Back to the video. Okay. Oh, I know a perfect way to instigate the gut. Okay, so what should I still write? What am I gonna write? I'm gonna write. We are about to start the hike again. Hey, do you want a quick hiking? Wait, hiking snack. Before we hit the trail. See what she says. Rachel grins, her own stomach growling a bit as well. You read my mind. I could definitely use a quick hiking snack before we head back out there. What did you have in mind? kind of hiking stuff? Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. I have a nice trail mix. Uh, and, and, uh, few small BLT sandwiches. Or you, you could have a granola bar. Let's see what she's interested in. Rachel thinks for a moment, considering the options. Then her eyes light up as she spots the BLT sandwiches. Ooh, those BLT sandwiches look delicious. I've worked up quite an appetite from all our adventures today. I'll have a sandwich, please. Okay. Sandwich sounds good. I reach into the bag and hand her one half of the sandwich wrapped in tin foil. Because we always wrap in tin foil or uh, plastic wrap or saran wrap or yada yada. Well, you get the idea. I don't need to explain how it works because that's how I that's how do when I do my hikes. But enough about hikes. Let's see what he has to say. Why didn't Okay, there it goes. 
Let's see Rachel takes the sandwich from you, her mouth watering at the thought of sinking her teeth into the delicious BLT. She carefully unwraps the tin foil, revealing the sandwich inside. Mmm, this looks so good. Thanks for the food. Let's have a quick bite before we start hiking again. We need to get the right feel in our bodies before we hit the trail. Rachel nods in agreement, taking a bite of her sandwich. You're right, we've been exerting ourselves a lot today, and we need to make sure we have the energy to keep going. This sandwich is perfect for that. Can't see what she says. Rachel savors the taste of the sandwich, appreciating the combination of crispy bacon, crunchy lettuce, and juicy tomatoes on the hearty bread. Mmm, this is really good. You have good taste in hiking snacks. Best hiking snacks are small things like sandwiches or bags of nuts or something. Rachel nods, agreeing with your assessment of the best hiking snacks. She takes another bite of her sandwich, enjoying the flavors. You're right, small and compact snacks are definitely the way to go when you're hiking. They're easy to carry, easy to eat, and they give you the energy boost you need without weighing you down. Plus, they're much more enjoyable than those weird energy bars and gels that some people rely on. Kinda like, but the gels, ugh, they taste like dust, some of them. They actually do, like, they actually did one scale and they tasted like dust, which was really nasty. Rachel laughs, wrinkling her nose at the mention of the gels. Ugh, I know exactly what you mean. Some of those gels taste like chalk. I'd rather chew on a tree branch than eat another one of those. So I'll stick to my sandwiches and nuts. Thank you very so I much. I one time a couple of years back, I got one at, I think it was Loblaws. I hate that company. Which is, um, it was supposed to be like a cricket protein gel thing. But here's the thing. It tasted like dust. Just my question is, do crickets always taste like dust? Or did I just get a bad bar? I do not know. But that's not important. Back to the video. Do you want any more snacks, or are you ready the trail? See, is she ready for the trail? Rachel finishes up the last bite of her sandwich, wiping her mouth with a satisfied smile. She feels a renewed sense of energy and enthusiasm. I think I'm good on snacks for now. That sandwich really hit the spot. Let's hit the trail. Okay, good. She's ready for the trail. Okay. We head back on our hike. And on our high hike. Going back into the foresty area. Rachel walks alongside you, her eyes taking in the beauty of the forest around them. They pass by tall trees, trickling streams, and patches of wildflowers. Hmm. The sun filters through the leaves, casting patterns of light and shadow on the ground. The air smells fresh and clean, and the only sounds are the chirping of birds and the crunch of leaves under their feet. I really like the descriptive chat on this. But, as I said, actually, I'm going to keep going with this conversation for one more, and then I might add something. As they walked along, Rachel feels a sense of peace and contentment. She looks over at you, a smile on her face. You know, this is really nice. Just being out here in nature like this. It's peaceful and calm. 
and it's a nice break from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Hustle and bustle is fine and all, but I need a break almost every once and a while. Rachel nods in agreement, knowing exactly what you mean. Absolutely. I think we all need a break from the hustle and bustle of everyday life to recharge our batteries. Being out in nature, surrounded by beauty and tranquility, is the perfect way to do that. It makes you realize that there's so much more to life than just work and stress. Rachel grins, eager to see what else the hike has in store for them. As they continue along the path, they come across a beautiful waterfall flowing down the side of a small hill. The water cascades over the rocks, creating a spray of mist that glistens in the sunlight. Now would you look at that? Rachel's eyes light up at the sight of the waterfall. She is captivated by its beauty, the water shimmering like a thousand diamonds in the sunlight. This is amazing. Look at the way the water cascades over the rocks. It's mesmerizing. I love watching water flow. Because I do. No, oh, please tell I didn't fry the system. Rachel nods, her eyes free. fixated on the waterfall. The sound of the water rushing over the rocks. The sight of the mist and the sunlight playing off the water, it's all so magical. Me too. There's something so calming and soothing about watching water flow. It's like nature's own form of meditation, you know? I do know. Wait, I do know. I do. <laughs> Rachel smiles, happy to find someone who appreciates nature and its calming properties. They stand there for a few more minutes, watching the waterfall and taking in the tranquil atmosphere around them. I'm just glad I found someone who likes nature as much as I do. Eventually, they tear their gazes away from the waterfall and continue on their hike. As they walk, they pass through a peaceful meadow filled with wildflowers and butterflies and come across a beautiful lake with tranquil waters. Kind of like the hot spot from earlier. Rachel looks at the lake, admiring its beauty. You're right, it does have a similar feel to the hot spring from earlier. The water is so still and clear, it's almost like a mirror. And it's so peaceful here. Just the sound of the birds and the soft rustling of the wind. Rachel turns her attention to the bird, watching as it lands on the water and starts drinking from the lake. Cool! That bird just landed on the lake. It's probably yeah, thirsty and cool. looking for some water to drink. Nature is so cool. fascinating, isn't it? To make... I did this once when I was at a scout camp with birds like Hannah. Rachel grins, excited at the prospect of a bird landing on her hand. She reaches into the bag and pulls out some of the seeds, holding them out in her palm. Walk up to the tree where a few birds are. 
They approach the tree, their footsteps soft on the ground. Rachel stands underneath the tree, holding out her hand full of seeds. The birds perched in the tree look down curiously at the food in her hand. Bird comes. Rachel nods, trying to remain as still and quiet as possible. She stands there, hand outstretched, waiting patiently for a bird to come closer. She glances over at you, a flicker of anticipation in her eyes. Okay, the, the bird finally came. Rachel's heart skips a beat as the bird lands on her hand, its small claws gripping the seeds she holds. She looks down at the bird with a mixture of excitement and awe, still trying to remain still and quiet. But watch out, their talons can be tickly. That's actually true, because that's one of the biggest problems. Rachel laughs, feeling the soft, tickling sensation of the bird's talons on her hand. Yeah, you're right. It tickles a bit, but it's worth it to have this little birdie on my hand. It feels like a small miracle, you know? Okay, what next? Feeding is way more exciting than a simple bird feeder. <laughs> Rachel nods in agreement, the bird still perched on her hand, nibbling at the seeds. She couldn't agree more with your assessment of hand feeding birds. There's just something about the direct connection and trust between you and the bird that makes it so much more special than simply putting out bird seed in a feeder. Okay, so I guess I'll have the bird fly off. Rachel watches as the bird flies off, a feeling of satisfaction and wonder in her heart. She looks down at her empty hand, still yes. feeling the lingering sense of connection and joy of having the bird land on her hand. That bird must have been hungry. Rachel nods, feeling a sense of satisfaction knowing she was able to help the bird. She looks at you with a smile, her eyes sparkling. Yeah, it must have. It was so sweet to have it land on my hand like that. It's like we formed a small bond. I have no idea how to She shakes her head in wonder, still feeling the excitement and joy from the experience. Then, suddenly, a small gurgle and a oh, rush of gas came. escape from her stomach. Well, ready to con- Well, it came back, but a little sooner than I expected. I just hope- Rachel laughs, her hand on her stomach, as she blushes slightly. Yeah, let's continue. I think my body's telling me it's time to focus on our hike instead of birds. Say similar to the hot spring. Rachel's eyes light up with curiosity. Ooh. A secluded area like the hot spring? Sounds interesting. Let's head there. Rachel follows you as they walk deeper into the forest. The trees get more dense, and the path becomes more narrow. The sound of the birds and the wind and the leaves gets a bit quieter as if they are entering a more peaceful and secluded pocket of the forest. Gray clay light. Mm. 
Rachel takes in the sight of the gray clay-like mud bath in awe. She's never seen anything like this before. The mud looks thick and gooey, almost like wet clay. Whoa, what is this? Is it some kind of natural mud bath? Yeah. Made with a mixture of the forest dirt and the... and the... Melted rock from the, um, from under the ground's crust. Rachel looks impressed, her mind filled with visions of relaxation and rejuvenation. Wow, that's so cool. So essentially, this is nature's version of a spa treatment. Yeah. It's like how the hot spring was nature's version of a hot tub. This is the version of... I know all the weird... I know all the weird... Like relaxation. Rachel grins, amazed at your knowledge of the forest relaxation areas. She looks at the mud bath, envisioning a rejuvenating experience. You really know your stuff, huh? First the hot spring, and now this mud bath. You're like a walking encyclopedia of nature's relaxation spots. Yeah. Every time I find one... Wait, every, is every time two words? Yeah, it is. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to go until, because the thing is... These videos take a long time to upload, so if this video gets to more than 30 minutes or 25 minutes, most likely 30, I'm going to stop and then start another video because... Whew, because I really, really hate waiting for these videos to upload. So, every time I find one, I take note of it. That way I can come again, but I tried Rachel nods, impressed and grateful for your knowledge. That's a good idea. I should start taking notes too, so I can remember all the amazing places we've been and all the adventures we've had. But never go blabbing about the really secluded areas or else it will be ruined by tourists. Rachel nods emphatically, understanding the importance of keeping some places a secret. Definitely. I wouldn't want these secluded areas to become overrun with tourists. We need to protect these beautiful natural places so we can keep enjoying them. She looks at the mud pool again, her hands itching to dive in and experience the relaxation it promises. So how does this work? Do we just strip down and jump in? Or are there specific steps we need to take first? Here's the thing, there aren't just specific steps, but there is like, wait, wait, oh, shoot, 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 okay, here we go. Well, while there are not really, well, there, is a kind of way there are while I wouldn't say specific there are a few steps on how to get 
in that. Will make it the most relaxing and fun. First, we need to decide we want we can it. Hmm, let's see. How we how we want to get in. Let's see how we want to get Then first do it this way, and then we'll see how she says it, and then I'll change it. So either way works, and I'll say that's most of them. Rachel considers the options, weighing the pros and cons of each choice. Hmm, that's a good question. Nude or swimsuits? Both have their pros and cons. And I like the sound of slowly sinking in instead of jumping in. Makes the whole experience feel more relaxing and meditative. Rachel nods, deciding on her choice. Okay, I think I've made up my mind. I choose to go nudist mode. I want to feel the mud against my skin without anything in between. Plus, it'll be like a little bit of a one with nature experience, you know? Rachel grins, feeling excited and a bit nervous. She starts to take off her clothes, folding them neatly nearby. She stands there, feeling the cool air on her skin, as she waits for you to do the same. Let's see what happens if I just don't do it first and let's see. She looks around the secluded area, feeling a sense of peace. There's something very primal about being naked in nature like this, feeling the air and the earth against your skin. You know, being naked out here feels liberating. It's like connecting with the earth on a more intimate level. Rachel watches as you start to undress, a small blush on her cheeks. She can't help but admire your body as it's revealed. She feels a mix of excitement and anticipation for what's to come. Mud until are up to your Now what you gotta do is slowly sink into the mud until you 
going to end the video right after. Rachel nods, listening intently to your instructions. She takes a moment to mentally prepare herself for the experience. Then she takes a deep breath and slowly sinks into the mud. Rachel settles into the mud, sinking deeper until it's up to her chest. She relaxes her body into the soothing, warm texture of the mud. Mm, you're right, this is really relaxing. It's like the mud is hugging my body, taking away all the tension and stress. Damn, I have to say until my body is covered in the mud too. Because I wouldn't go past this area. Rachel looks over at you, her eyes widening as she sees you completely covered in mud. Oh wow, you look like some kind of mud monster. But a very relaxed and handsome mud monster. Look at you. All covered. You look like you are in a giant gray muddy muddy body suit. Rachel laughs looking down at her body completely covered in the gray mud she can feel the cool dampness of the clay against her skin yeah I do look like I'm wearing a giant gray bodysuit but an ultra relaxing natural one this feels amazing you know what I'm gonna end the video here and I might continue it later and the next part, I'm going to see if, because the thing is, she ha she talked about a stomach thing, but the thing is, they didn't go anywhere with it. So after maybe next time I do a video, I'll be able to make it happen. See ya.